So I just put out a video talking about vitamin B12, and I totally forgot to mention about vitamin B12 shots because that's really popular nowadays. Now, according to a study I reviewed, and I'll post the study in the description box uh, so you guys can read it too, oral vitamin B12 supplements were shown to be significantly better at raising vitamin B12 than the shots. Now, I don't know if I'm reading this right, but comparing the numbers between the two, oral vitamin B12 did more than two times better than the shots. Now I want to say that I did try out the vitamin B12 shot just to see if I'm making any difference and I got this done at a year ago at the Woodstock Fruit Festival by no other than Harley Johnstone aka Durham Redder. If you don't know who Durham Redder is, he's one of the most successful, funniest vegan advocates here on YouTube and I highly recommend his channel and he's a really good stick. So if you're at the Woodstock Fruit Festival next year and you want to try this out yourself to see if it would make any difference, I'm sure he'd be more than happy to help you out. He's a really nice guy, unless he doesn't believe in it anymore. Maybe you watch this video and he's like, oh, that my guy convinced me not to take uh, vitamin B12 shots anymore. Now for me, like the oral vitamin B12 supplements, I don't feel anything different taking it, so I'm just going to keep on taking the oral form of vitamin B12 because I don't see any... I don't see any good reason to taking the shots when you could just take a vitamin B12 oral supplement of it and absorb it right underneath your tongue. Um, however, if you want to keep on taking the vitamin B12 shots, that's totally fine. They both work. But this is just advice. You can do whatever the fruit you want to do. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay fruity, my friends.